Yeah, hi, it's Royce, Eddings Royce Construction. We're going to show you how to put together a um, patio cover. Uh, let's take a little look around. As you can see, there's an existing rain gutter that runs the full length of the building. Now, we just removed the old patio cover. If you look behind me, you can see the, uh, the metal uh, post base holders in the ground. And so I removed that, moved the patio cover already. What we have here, though, is we've got a 2x8 fascia board, and the rain gutter is covering all but about 3 and a half inches of it, which was okay before because the, uh, the rafters that were on the, uh, the original patio cover were only 2x4s, so they fit perfectly up underneath that gutter. But now we're using a completely different kind of roof. It's a heavier roof. We're going to need uh, better support than just 2x4. So we're going to put 2x6s on here with 2x6 uh, tongue and groove above that. So we need 7 inches plus room to get a flashing up underneath the flashing that's coming off the roof. Uh, because the gutter's got to come down. There's no other way to attach the patio cover. So the gutter will be coming down and it will be showing you how this, this all goes together. Okay, so we're looking at the rain gutter. It's roughly 40 feet long. It's all got to get out of our way. We've got to attach the new patio cover to that 2x8 fascia, put the 2x6 tongue and groove on top of it, some new roofing material, which will be a uh, roll roofing type walking surface, and flashing some, so we don't have any leaks between the patio cover and the house. So that's what we're doing. Here's the, uh, some of the existing post caps that the posts were on. There's five posts here. And so right now we're working on getting the gutter off. If we can save it, great. That may not be possible. So we're getting the gutter off. Kevin and I are got all the screws out of it now. Just got to pry the flashing loose from it. Hi, once again, Royce Eddings. Uh, work is progressing on the patio cover in Paso Robles. Um, previously, there were only two by four rafters. Half of them were covered with um, aluminum awning type siding, typical of a mobile home. Put the skylight in now. And the other half were covered with um, just some lattice panels, plus all the beams out here were all dry rotted and collapsing. So we replaced all the posts and beams. We put 2x6 rafters in and 2x6 tongue and groove, and we're up on the roof right now doing the roofing. Well, they give you a better look at what the beams look like. All those beams plumbed both directions, braced in both directions cut off in place before we could even start putting any rafters up. Okay, you can see we've got some hangers on top, post bases on the bottom. So that's all in. The other end has a skylight. We're putting a little blocking in between the beams, just a little trim. It'll all paint up. Let's go take a look at the roof that's going on. Well, before we go up on the roof, let's just take a look at the fascia board. It came out super clean. All the joints, excellent. Typical of the joints, very clean, very straight line on the 50 foot of fascia board going down. Okay, let's go up the ladder and take a look at the roof. Okay, I don't know how easy this is to see, but there's an edge metal, and we left enough room to be able to slide where they lap, where the edge metal laps. We left enough room to slide, um, you know, our flashing in. Stack of flashing down there. Okay, let's continue up on the roof. Alright, we've got a two coat system here, base coat and a cap sheet, nice cap sheet, walking surface, um, nice medium gray, matches the uh, color of the tile roof. Okay, let's get up on the roof and get a little closer look. Okay, so once again, we're looking at the cap sheet, here's the base sheet, all nailed down with nice wind nails. And once again, there's the flashing. It will slide in. Little trick here. You slide it in where the, um, the edge metal laps. Where the edge metal laps, you slide the sheet metal straight in. So you'll have flash counter flash. There used to be a gutter there. And uh, no room to put a gutter anymore. Or we wouldn't have anything to attach to. It would be pushed down too far off the fascia board. So anyway, that's what we got going here. And uh, skylight. All right. So this is this is what we're doing. They'll be done today with the roof. Got a little bit of blocking left to do myself. As you can see, we took down some 
pretty long rain gutters over there. We don't want to put these back up. We're going to put brand new gutter up on the outside of the new patio cover. Okay, 50 foot long gutter, ridiculous. Up on the roof. And that's what's going on in Royce's world today. Thanks for joining me. This is the way to do a patio cover. Thank you. Okay, we're back here at the site of the new patio cover. You can see the walking roof has been completed over the patio cover. You can see the detail we used here um, to flash it. There used to be a rain gutter back here that was attached to the fascia board, but there was no way to put the new rafters on with the rain gutter in the way. The old ones were only two by fours. We have a much heavier roof on now. So we had to uh, eliminate the rain gutter across the back of the house. And of course we had um, edge metal, uh, existing edge metal. And we were able to get our flashing up underneath the edge metal. So now we have the proper flash, counter flash, all the way along the roof. And the new gutter will go over here on the back side of the fascia board. Okay, so here's a view of the new patio from the other end of the house. We used a gray, it's, it's a gray uh, concrete tile roof on the house, solar panels, etc. Anyway, it's a little dusty and faded on the house, but we wanted to have something that came close because after all, we are on the golf course here. Got a skylight in there. I got to take the blue, the blue plastic off. <laughs> anyway, once again, the flashing, the flashing from the patio cover to the house itself was, to me, the most important part of the job. Okay, we'll climb down and take one last look underneath. Okay, so once again, the old beams had severe dry rot. All have been replaced. New post caps. Beautiful tongue and groove. Nice tongue and groove. I think they're going to finish this in some kind of a clear finish. Attached to the building over there. We're fastened from the fascia, from behind the fascia. We've also got joist hangers. I've got a little piece of trim running across the top. Uh, textured trim. A little caulking here and there. You know, because it did butt against hangers and in some cases nails on both sides. And skylight well right there. So anyway, here we are. And that's what we've got here. Brand new patio cover. The old one was full of dry rot. Half of it had kind of an aluminum awning on top, similar to a, a mobile home. And the other half just had a uh, lattice across the top. And that's how we like to build a patio. And that's what's going on in Royce's world today. Thank you very much for watching.